A father wrote me and said, quote, Yesterday morning we had a family meeting and I taught my children ages six and three about gratitude. I had to teach them what that meant because they didn't even know the word. Now, imagine that. A father defining not just a word, but the world for his young children. Exactly as it needs to be. How else are children going to learn the world? Every time we speak, every time we are kind or angry, as parents, we define the world for our kids. And almost all of that is unfortunately entirely unconscious. So most of the time we teach them things about the world that are not true or not good. But here is a father who is deliberately teaching his children the principles that will make them happy for life. Such men and women are heroes to me. You can be a parenting hero too. Click like and subscribe to stay connected with The Real Love Principles, supporting both your journey and helping The Real Love Company reach others who are seeking guidance. Dad said, they like doing these little lessons. Sometimes I stand up. I even pace back and forth, you know, like a teacher might in a classroom as I talk to them. For some crazy reason, they like that. Well, of course they do. You're putting your energy into it. You're directing it at them. When you stand and pace, you look and feel more involved, keeping in mind that this wouldn't work for everybody, but it really works for your kids and works for almost all kids. And by the way, how observant of you to even notice what they like, as opposed to just doing what you want. Dad continued, I started like this. First, let's do a review. What is our family goal? This is just perfect, all in one letter. We tend to teach children individual principles without remembering that all these individual principles fit together for one goal. We just throw random thoughts at them. Dad said, the children said, our goal is to be happy. Dad said, excellent. And how do we be happy? The children instantly responded, feel loved, be loving, be responsible. Keep in mind that that stellar, perfect answer comes from two children who are ages six and three, and they responded in unison. That's kind of crazy cool. Dad said, okay, now I'm going to teach you something we've never talked about before. And I whispered, Dad said, would you like to know the superpower that helps you do all of those things? You know, feel loved and be loving and be responsible. And the kids said, yeah. I mean, what kid doesn't want to know the superpower? I mean, kill me. You've got your kids begging to know the truth not sitting there and passively resisting it, begging to know, eager, so much better than reluctant learning. And you brilliantly observed that kids can't resist learning a superpower. So dad said to the kids, it's being grateful. That's the superpower. Dad continues talking to me now, not to them. I gave examples of things we could be grateful for. I asked them if they knew what electricity is used for. Luna, the six-year-old, said it's for cooking and turning the lights on. I asked if she knew where the electricity came from. She had never thought about that before. I told her that there were thousands of people involved. Electricity comes to our house from miles away. People had to dig ditches and put in cables that would bring it to our house. And every day people made sure that the electricity works so that we can use it. Somebody also had to invent electricity and they had to learn how to make it work and lots of stuff. Not kidding, her six-year-old jaw dropped as she listened to me describe different parts of how we get to use this electricity, how it comes to us and benefits us. Dang, honey, what a father you are, teaching her about the world and about happiness at the same time. That's kind of an amazing superpower that you have. Dad continued, I then said that there's just as many people involved in allowing us to have running water in the house. And she gasped out loud. I'm having fun just reading about this. This is like watching a video about how a happy family is created and what it looks like. 
that said then throughout the rest of the day, I spontaneously said things that I'm grateful for, like, I'm grateful we have a car to drive places that we want to go. Luna would respond with something like, and I'm grateful for going to a fun playground. One time she said, I'm grateful for spending time together as a family. I think she's getting it, Dad said. You think? When they're young, they are sponges. They soak up everything. And instead of just allowing them to randomly soak up whatever passes by them, you're filling the sponge with love and with an understanding of true principles. I can say this with great authority. The kind that comes from extensive experience. Children who learn to be grateful do not whine or complain or fight or become addicted to phones, become entitled and all that stuff that kills happiness. Dad said, it is so fun being a parent. Yeah, the best. And if we don't know how, it can be hell to an equal degree. Way to go, Dad. What a difference you're making in the world. This is how the world can be changed. Only this way. Every day I read about conflicts in Israel, Ukraine, Congress, and the violence in many cities, and mass murders in malls and schools, and on and on. And we love reading and hearing about this stuff. We get a kick out of the excitement that accompanies all that. Not pretty, but we are drawn to reports about shootings, beheadings, racism, that stuff. We love it, but we're not solving the real problem. All the arguing, politics, treaties, and drama in the world will never change things, never has, and yet we keep doing the same old stuff. Parenting with love is the way to happiness. And until we get that, all the ugliness of the world will continue. But you, Dad, are doing the only thing that works to rid the world of contention. You're being a real parent, and it's not complicated. It just takes awareness, humility, persistence, education. You are an example to the rest of us. We can all do what this father is doing. We all have access to the resources he used to get to this point. It wasn't easy at times, but he kept going. Go to reallove.com and learn how you can have incredible experiences like this one.